This video will cover the topic, range of a quadratic function. One thing we will need to know before tackling these types of problems is, what is range? Well, the range of a function is the set of all outputs, or y values, of a function. For example, if we are given the function f, which is defined by the following table, we could see that the outputs, or y values, listed here are the range of this function. We could write the range of this function as range of f equals 1, 8, 27, and 64, listed inside a pair of braces. How can we find the range when a table of values is not provided? Good question. To answer this, let's work through another example problem together. Say we are given the quadratic equation f of x equals 3x squared minus 12x plus 10. We are asked to find the range of the function and write it in interval notation. To do this, we will first need to calculate the vertex using the vertex formula, negative b over 2a. a is the constant in front of the leading term, so in our case, our a is 3. b is the constant in front of the second term, so in this case, negative 12. So if we substitute 3 for a and negative 12 for b in the vertex formula, we get a result of 2. This tells us that the vertex of our quadratic will occur at the x value of 2. We can find the y value where the vertex is located by plugging in 2 for the x values in the function. This results in f of x equals negative 2. So we now know that the vertex occurs at the point 2 comma negative 2. This function is a quadratic, so its graph will have a parabolic shape, meaning it will either look like this, a parabola that opens upwards, or this, a parabola that opens downwards. Because the leading coefficient of this function is positive, the parabola will open upwards. Why is it important to have this information? Well, if we know the vertex, and that the parabola will open upwards, we can determine that the range of this function is all y values greater than or equal to negative 2. The minimum y value of this function is negative 2, where the vertex occurs. And all other y values are greater than negative 2, continuing on all the way to positive infinity. How can we write the range in interval notation? Good question. The y values of this function span from negative 2 all the way to positive infinity. So we can write negative 2 comma infinity. We will put a bracket on the left side of the negative 2 to indicate that the range includes the negative 2. And we will put a parenthesis on the right side of the infinity sign to indicate that the range does not include infinity, since we can never actually reach infinity. This is our final answer, bracket negative 2 comma infinity parenthesis. Okay. Let me make sure I understand. So to find the range of a quadratic function, we first calculate the x value of the vertex using the vertex formula, negative b over 2a. Then, we plug that value into our function to get the y value of the vertex. Next, we identify which way the parabola will open, either up or down. We use this information to determine if the range will extend to infinity or negative infinity. Finally, we write the range in interval notation. Great work! 